Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and we're here with another box because Lucky beat me so far five times and I beat him zero times. Lifetime. So we're gonna play Crappy Box Wars or whatever you call it. We're basing it on value, and um, yeah, people like to complain about me not knowing the values. Guess what? I can't sell these till tomorrow, so of course I don't know the values. So let's see who can win. So we're calling, um, what is it, like Ronus? Barbecue Fork Guy and Lands are like, yay. And then Mythic, pretty much. Yeah. And then, like, <clears throat> Foil Rare is a win and everything else is a tie or something like that. I don't know. A Foil Full Art is, like, 15 bucks, too, so... Well, yeah, they, they went down. Ugh, Pyramid of the Pantheon. Regal Carcal. Oh, I love that card. Well, that's a tie. <laughs> So, so people in the comments are like, well, that's 89 cents and that's 88 cents. I don't care. <laughs> if it's not 10 bucks, I'm not interested. In fact, if it's not 4 bucks, I'm not interested, according to the actual rules. Um, oh, great. Oh, full art. Yay. Oracle's Vault. By the way, these are worth 33 cents a piece, as it says. Hard to tell, though, because... Uh, this one doesn't want to open. It must be something good. That's what I'm hoping. Well, remember, the, the strip on top is supposed to mean something. Here, here's one with a strip on top right there. See, that that means something, apparently. It means it was on the edge of the sheet. But they have <laughs> a full art land and Ooh! a mythic. Ronus. Ronus the god card. That's a win right there. So they're really hard to open ones, and they've got a full art. Shoot, yeah. All right, so well, you pretty much won already, then. <laughs> oh! Foil Mythic Combat Celebrant with an Archfiend of Ifnir. That would be a rare, wouldn't it? No, Mythic. Oh, I don't remember From this. over here, it looks gold. It can't be that great. Oh, Exert it and untap everybody. Yeah, he's not that great, but he's kind of cool. You could set up something around it. It's a Foil it's Mythic. It's like automatic manual vigilance, kind of. Even if I get a Mythic, no, I can't. That would actually be really good in your deck, except that it's not haste. It's good, though. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually wondering which one's worth more now. Well, a foil mythic. I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, and you've got a foil rare. <laughs> New perspectives. That's anyway, almost nothing. a tie. I mean, nope. <laughs> I got a foil mythic. Foil, foil rare. mythic equals masterpiece. I got a foil rare and. But there's a, a foil rare mythic win. one in every four boxes, I think. Something like that. Oh no, Masterpieces are, I don't remember, are they equivalent to a Mythic? I don't remember. Oh, wasn't that the one with the stripe on top? Guess what? <laughs> We're going digging. Here we go. Massive strip on top. Even crooked. Look at how crooked that is. I'm starting to think Belgium just doesn't give a crap anymore. Alright. They're just so close to Russia they've oh. given up. Champion of Ronis. Damn it, that's one of the good ones. I got a Foil Curse Minotaur and a Plague Belcher. Yeah, that's a loss. Um, oh boy. I know that one's only like three or four bucks, but it's it's just such a good card, I'm counting it. <laughs> We're selling uh, Futures now, MTG Futures. Um, so that one sucked. Let's find another Stripe pack. Here, no. Oh yeah, big old Stripe, all right. I'd say they're not dumb enough to do that twice, but they clearly are. Another foil, so maybe it means they put a foil in it. Uh, not so great Hydra. We got a dispossess. Well, that's a good card. I actually need that. And a nimble blade, Kenra. Oh, that's like really a tie. Cool. Hey, where's some more line ones? Oh, this one's got a double a double cut in it. Why not? <laughs> I mean, even the packs are like misprinted and mismade. I mean, they just do not give a crap anymore. Oh boy, thrown to the god pharaoh. Woo! Ooh, you might have me there. Woo! Except for I got a dusk to dawn. Oh, that's a tie, basically. And to reduce Whoa. the rubble. Oh, and all the line ones. Where's the ones with the lines, damn it? Get your stuff off my side. Oh, whatever. Here we go. Whoops. <laughs> Big old line across the top. Yeah, all it means is they were on the edge, but if the packaging uh, pattern gets disrupted by one pack, then it doesn't mean anything. Even mind sense. Oh, that's it. Oh, I beat you with the Harsh Mentor! Uh, oh! But I also got a Binding Mummy Foil. Ooh, Harsh Mentor's worth more. 
<laughs> he's down, but he's still worth something. The one okay, just... Mittens is gonna do it for me. That would go good in my deck, or...? Yeah, that's reasonable. Depends on what your opponent's playing, but, uh... It, like, really depends on what your opponent's playing. Oh, I thought that was it, but it's not. It's a foil regular mountain. And Harvest Season, I need that card. I should set that aside. That's one where you just go get a boatload of lands out of your deck and pop them onto the field. I mean, could you say landfall? <laughs> I got Nibba the Worthy, which is not worthy. Yeah, that's a tie. Oh my god, it's a full tie! <gasps> I might win the first box wars ever. Well, somebody's vibrating somewhere in me. That'd be me. Regs the riches, yo! Got a Visor of many faces. It's Vizier. Vizier's face. Well, that's a tie. He's actually not that bad either, but whatever. Oh! What'd you get? I got. Oh! <laughs> Did you, though? Did you? Shadow of the Grave. This, oh! Nice. This is going in a top load. Oh, I've never seen that on a planeswalker. Yeah, and she's, uh, she's blue now. She Green, loves blue Jace. X? Yeah, she can't figure out if she has a crush on Chandra because a bunch of SJW morons wrote the story. So she comes out with what? Is that X based all Oh, her yeah, loyal? just X, yeah. Huh. Quite annoying. You can bring her out for, like, in your deck, like 30. You can bring her out for her <laughs> ultimate. Yeah, you can just bring her out and alter. Yeah. Her ult isn't very good. She's just not that good in Plus general, two strike too, though, is pretty nice. Oh, boy, Dread Wanderer. Woo, watch out. I'm not getting, like, any full arts, either. As foretold. Damn it! <laughs> That's an $18 Mythic! Ah! I hate that card. You you know what it does, right? Nope. Just cast spells for free, basically, for the rest of the game. That's my summary of it. Beginning of your upkeep, Shit. it'll win a time counter on it. <sighs> Dropped it. Once you turn it, they zero. Yeah, so you tap out, oh, free Counterspell. Oh, you tap out, free Anticipate, free Glimmer, free anything, Torrential. I mean, you have to get up to six for Torrential, but you would. Prowling super p -p 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 Yes, but it has to be exact. Where X no, it's it's X or less, unlike oh. um, Aether Vial and Brain in the Jar, yeah. where they have to be exact. I want to play that card. That is slower than Aether Vial, so it's not modern good, but late game, it's so much better than Aether Vial. All right, what do you got? I got a prowling surp up 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 bird. I got Horrid's Favor, Hazard's Favor, and Cartouche of Knowledge. Oh, it. that's so tight. I'm not counting individual foils. It's a pretty card. I know. I like Cartouche. Can't creature you control. Draw a card. Intention creature gets plus one, plus one, and flying. Yeah, quite good. That's it. There's a Force Fight Cartouche, that's too. That's really a nice card. That's yeah, plus for one forever. And... Oh, boy. The... Garbage card, Approach of the Second Sun. That's one where if you cast it twice in a game, you win. I think that's an automatic loss for you. It should be. I sh it should be a penalty. <laughs> and I got... Tamit. Damn. He's kind of going to be pissed in the next chapter of the story, because Jace, like, mined something to him. I don't know. He did a mind trick. Oh, Cascading Cataracts. I wouldn't count that as a land, because honestly, it's like a dollar. <laughs> Sweltering Suns. Oh, boy, another tie. Hmm. This is weird. It's indestructible to land. It generates colorless. And if you feed in five, you can spit out five of any color. And this is like a much better reprint of a card that used to exist that would spit out one of each color. But you can choose, but you would need... To not only have five mana, but have five of not the right colors, and then also not need the sixth mana, it's like you'd never play that card. An indestructible land, like, okay, I get it, but other than that, it's dumb as hell. Failure to comply. Never return. Ooh. I think we almost, it seems like we pulled, pulled, on, pulled a, a double card yeah. very... Line. About the same time. Yeah, that was seemed to kind of touching in the backs. There you go. Heaven and Earth. Or Heaven to Earth. Oh, um, am I going to get one too then? I'm more excited about the Baleful. <laughs> I want as many cards as I can get of that. Liliana's Mastery. 
Oh, that's a bum one. I'm still tying it. That actually isn't worth that much, because Windstorm has been printed like 50 times and not at rare, I think. Um, it's more flexible, but you'd have to be playing the colors, and then it's like you'd have to cast it for one green and zero, and then nuke the ground if you're running a Flyers deck. And if you're running a ground deck, you just wouldn't make use of the Earth. And it's double red, so you better really have your colors. Plus, that's... well, that, they're both kind of late game. I don't know. Oh boy, Pyramid of the Pantone. Heart Piercer Manicore. And the Foil True Heart to Lulis, which is a, at least a... Uh... So the best I can do is tie once again. Come on, Mittens the Kittens. It's really Oketra, but I named her Mittens. <laughs> She's a kitty. <laughs> Come on, kitty. I should win just based on Nissa, but you, then again, you pulled us. We're told it's actually worth more. Come on. Come on! Nope. Glory bound initiative. Cruel reality. Ah! Hey, I need that one. I was stealing it. <laughs> that's going in my deck. Spoiler alert. So that's four to two. So I lost box number six. You know what that means? Time for another box.